Hi, Tim from the Hosted Group. Now, I've done one of these videos recently around sniper loadout. I thought I'd do another one for you just to give you a baseline loader kit that I always have on me, and 90% of the time will have this out on the ground with me, especially at a meal sim. This will enable me to facilitate and build on top of this. So, depending upon weather, environment, tasking, how many people are in the team, um, what they choose to carry, what we choose to divvy up, you can build on top of this by miles. Um, food, water, sustenance, all those sorts of things will be built on top. There will be a lot more to take out on the ground with you. A lot of the time I can facilitate it in the pack that's here um, to last me out on the ground for a good substantial amount of time, including other layers, so on and so forth. So what I'll do is I'll take you through this. If you do have any questions about other things to carry, please feel free to drop a comment in the box below. If you're excited about running through this, please make sure you whack that thumbs up. So I'll start on the left-hand side, the top corner, I've got my little... Uh, unjammer uh, and this works really perfect so over there I've got the TMC bump great lid 2019 version it's got the ratchet system dial uh, for tightening it up very very comfy it's got like memory foam pads inside super super cool got my nods on there and I've got the Emerson counterweight pouch this is a copy of the TNVC it's a really really good copy got a counterweight in there with some spare batteries works incredibly well working down on the left hand side then uh, I've got the warrior assault systems helmet cargo pack all you guys know if you've been running this for donkey's years, absolutely solid pack, perfect, really expandable uh, and will hold everything you need uh, to be out on the ground for a short period of time. Here I've got some high axe boots, uh, these are the GTXs, they're absolutely awesome boots. Uh, I've been running Solomons uh, and loads of other brands for years, Carry More SF, loads of others. These high axe boots are absolutely awesome dry really quickly, fully waterproof, they're really, really great boots. So highly recommend high axe. Moving through the middle then, got some claw gear uh, trousers in Ranger Green. I've got the Raptor Tactical Odin Mark III. And then I've got a holster from HW Holsters. Uh, and that's Kydex uh, molded to the Tokyo Marui Tap 45. This thing was fully pimped out by the guys over at Sniper Mechanics. So that's got a flamingo bucking in it, tight ball barrel and loads of other goodies. Uh, on the left side, I've got a adjustable grenade pouch which holds one of these fbg sixes from tag innovation really well love having these on me for first line being able to sling these out if needed got my you know final magazine or my fast mag on my hip um moving over then also here i've got my multi-tool multi-tool is primarily used for reloading tag rounds uh, and the tag launcher which i always have on me uh, but can be used for various other things Moving across the middle then, here I've got my Claw Gear Malia Axe. This thing is a waterproof hard shell, very, very thin, very light, keeps you nice and warm, will keep you dry in those conditions where it is absolutely lashing it down. I always have this thing screwed up in a ball and put in the front of the jacket, uh, front of the jacket in the front of the bag. Works really well. So across the front, I've got three mags, these are the PA, uh, PTS mags, um, and these fit the Tokyo Marui. And then I've got my LBX. Um, Armatus 2, wicked plate carrier in multi cam black, super light, super cool. Uh, up here, I've got the THG PTT. That's my custom version uh, of the uh, Nexus PTT from JCI Comms. Uh, There's a full video on most of this kit back on the channel if you are interested. Moving up towards the top, I've got my King's Arms M79. That's got a tag pro shell in it. Um, and that thing's absolutely awesome, absolute force multiplier. You know, me and Richie absolutely love tag rounds. We put a lot of them out each round, uh, each game. And um, yeah, they're, they're absolutely phenomenal. Depending on what platform you're running uh, and where you are and the sort of tasking you get up to, for us, always out in the front, doing recce, you know, being in dangerous positions, uh, that thing is absolutely awesome. Now, this is a GSR. This is a real steel gas mask. It has taken shots to the front of it and has been fine. Um, people ask why I carry this. Now, depending upon what event you're on and depending who you're running with, maybe not. But the recent events at Sterling Airsoft, they have had lots and lots of chemical attacks. They've had lots of buildings that have been flooded with smoke and chemicals. So to enter those buildings, you will need a gas mask on you. Um, and to do that, it's handy having it. So if I can squeeze it in the bottom of the backpack, which I can, it uh, doesn't take up too much room. It's handy to have on me just in case we come across any chems labs. Now I have been out three times now with Sterling where we have not known there's gonna be a chems lab or a chems attack, and this has come in really, really handy. So, you know, for me, always key to have it for rolling out in the Sterling events. 
Down here I've got a Helicon Tex um, admin pouch. This has got all the reloads in it for the um, tag launcher. So I've got shells in there, I've got the fist system, so on and so forth. One of my favorite pieces of kit, this is the Impact from Vortex Optics. This is a laser range finder, super handy, great for doing recce, great for doing recon, great for judging those distances for the tags, but also for the engagement from the platforms. Uh, this thing is absolutely awesome. I take it to every event, it's always in my pocket. Coming down to that then, recon, recce, perfect. Um, little setup here, I've got a right in the rain pen and I've got a right in the rain notebook and I've also got my Garmin on here as well. Six figure grids, taking down intel, taking uh, notes in briefings, all those sorts of things, you need to have this on you at all times. Moving down to the bottom then, decent set of gloves, these are the Outdoor Research Iron Fists, these gloves are awesome, this is my third pair of them, I've been using them for years, I've been using these for about a year and they still look absolutely mint. Moving over to the right then, last thing, this is my Tokyo Marui Scar L, fully upgraded by the guys over at Custom Ra uh, Camo Raids. Custom work for them is absolutely insane. This has got a uh, Gate Titan V2, it's got Helicoil gear set, upgraded motor, it's got upgraded hot bucking, uh, piston, cylinder head from the guys over at Turnus Off there. I've literally got this thing fully pimped out. On top, I've got the Vortex Crossfire 2, got an element um, D bow with the uh, green laser, you know, the upgraded IR one. And then on here, I've got Surefire Rep um, 300 Vampire. Now, I know I've blitzed over this all pretty quick. There's a lot of kit there. Again, this is just a baseline kit. If you are interested, if you want to ask more questions, if you're interested in more of the kit that's laid out on the floor, before you ask for more information on it, please make sure you head over to theherisonbrute.com. A lot of this stuff has been reviewed over there already. If there's something you're absolutely bleeding to know about, please feel free to drop me a message. Um, again, baseline kit will give you a rough idea of what I've got on me at all times. Um, I hope you found this video informative and interesting. Um, again, if you want to check out some more videos, theheresybrute.com. Thank you very much for watching.